Retro Cartoons with John Mark. Hey, it's John Mark and welcome to my series on teaching you how to draw cartoons. Today's episode is going to be a real fishy one for sure. What do I mean? Just watch. We're going to have three different cute little cartoon fish. The first one is going to be a little shark named Tommy. He's going to be a little fun one. Feel free to use your imagination, of course. The second one is going to be this little fish leaning on a rock expression another fun lesson the third one is another fun lesson it's going to be a fish singing La! with a microphone in her little fin so if you have your paper and pencil i think we're ready to begin all three of these lessons all right let's begin today's lesson i'll be using my mechanical pencil working on an eight and a half by eleven paper Currently, this is a little new cartoon shark called Tommy that's part of our Friend Fish series. I'll be basically forming the body out right now, the back fins right now for his tail. And just the two pieces. Again, when I'm sketching, I'm sketching very lightly and simply. I'm not worried about anything because this is just a sketch. This is like my step one right now very light and i'm just going to create a little nose area there for the mouth and the eyes to come in here he's a happy little a little shark from jersey all right and there's the other eye and take a note on the left eye again it's not a full oval and this little shark he likes wearing hats right now and there's going to be a little special thing about him much later on the video that you're going to appreciate all right, and then here we go with his mouth there, his little cheek. Give him a little smile. Give him a little eyeball. He's checking you out there on the side there and a the little one. Again, half circle, not a full circle. There we go, just shading in a quick. Again, this is just a simple sketch, just making it very, very light. So then I can follow up with a little bit darker stroke. And the lead that I'm currently working on, I believe is like an HB in this one, a standard number two pencil. And again, his top of his nose there. So there we go. The little, there we go. All right, let's get the side of a fin here. And simple as can be. Yeah, I'm going to put the other one down here. That's the other side. I'll shade that one in later. And let's get him the shape. There we go. I like that for where he breathes. All right, belly there. Got to get the little fin on the bottom there. He's, and of course, I got to put a little fishing hook got caught in him all right and there's a little latch on the top there good good he's looking good all right and if now i'm going to go a little harder with everything and putting a little bit more pressure on my pencil i'm forming it again but still very sketchy as you can see here i'm just going to make it like a a tip a little like a black tip uh, shark he's not no particular shark um that's known in the, in the ocean right now. I just kind of made him up right now. His little belly there, but kind of take the same shape and form of what a shark would look like. But if you're trying to create a shark, feel free to use your imagination and change it up a little bit. But this little character is going to be coming in the our friend fish series and uh, soon, soon, soon. All right, I'm going to shade in his mouth right there. I give that little dimension, his little lip standing out there. All right, let's get the on the side of his cheek there. And that's some, you know what? I got to give him a two-tone body. I'm not so sure what color I'm going to make him just yet. He hasn't been colored in, but I'm going to work on there. Now for his hat, he's going to have like a little dead fish on his top cap there. I'm going to get that soon. Okay, let's get that cap there. Here we go. All right, just like a bone bony little fish there there we go whoop and he doesn't like to eat uh, basically fish he likes to eat kelp and uh seaweed um his main area of fear is actually coral he does not like coral reefs he has a problem with them and his top hat flat right there straight across and his eyes right there. Those shading a little bit more darker. I can put the highlight in a little, little later on. There we go. There we go. Looking good. 
little bit more detail and you can see I, when i'm doing it now i'm going a little slower at times and his body i'm just quickly just shading in the part the top part right now and his fin on that side and that dorsal fin on the top there all right let's make that a little bit stronger yeah i gotta get more there we go and uh little fishing hook stuck in there he's a friendly little old shark he's trying to help people typical sharks are kind of uh, aggressive and mean but he he's a happy go lucky guy all right and his little lip right there his belly okay his back fin you know let's do a little scenery for him right now let's get some scenery and some coral reefs since Tommy, the shark, does not like coral reef. He has problems with it. All right, so different shape. These are just standard little shape. As you can see, when I'm angling them, feel free to use your imagination when you're uh, being creative with anything. In this case, the uh, coral reef, you may need to research and find out what it kind of looks like. But this is kind of a style that I'm using in my current background for my friend fish series. So I have these little corals. You can make multiple different height, but change the movement, like bending it forward, angle it a little bit to the left, overlapping on there. Now let's put another one in the back there like that. Another one higher in the back there bending in the back there there we go all right sometimes you might see the front of the circle and other time it's bending over so you're not going to see it then you know let's just create some little bubbles now all right and let's get the side there okay you know let's let's actually create a, a more of a, a different type of a coral and then they're kind of like more of the uh, gnarly looking ones but uh, this has not so gnarly because they're nice and soft. Little tall ones there. I'll make us some other ones right back there. There we go. All right, let's get some stones or seashells, whatever you want to think they may be. Randomly place them here and there. Uh, that's looking good. I got to get more lead. All right, let's put a little on the background. Looking good. I think we're just about there. Oh, I forgot one thing. I got to put a Band-Aid on little Tommy because he he runs into coral reefs a lot and he hurts himself. All right, there's a little Band-Aid on his fin. There we go. That's much better. All right, and the bottom there. Of course, as you know, let's sign, date, share it with your family and friends. Now that was a fun lesson teaching you how to draw that little cute cartoon Tommy. What did you do different? Did you change the expression maybe, or even the style? Or did you try to copy as best as you can? Doing that and whatever you're using your imagination is the key thing to become a better artist and that sketching technique, mm-hmm. So if you like this one, I know the next lesson is gonna be just as fun, so stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to our show, and I hope you enjoy the first lesson. This next lesson is going to be maybe a little challenging, maybe not, but use your imagination and do the best that you can. So if you have your paper and pencil, I think we're ready to begin the next lesson. So let's begin today's lesson. I'm going to be using my mechanical pencil and starting very lightly sketching. And when I'm sketching, I'm going to be creating little... Um, elements and shapes that I know where the body is going to fill in like the first part was the head and here's the basic shape for the body and the crosshair to help me to put the face in and the, the back part there is the two little fins right now so when you're doing this lesson feel free once again to be creative and use your style and uh, change and uh, change some of the elements maybe the background or the, the shape of the fish all together here he is just leaning with his two little fins underneath his chin and there will be a rock underneath that. Sometimes, a little side note, sometimes it's easier to create the rock first and have the uh, character leaning on it. And sometimes it's easier just to create the character like they're leaning on and then place the element on top so you're not too short or too tall or in the wrong position. All right, so here's the eyes. As you notice, the right eye is a half moon because the curvature of the head turns. So you're not going to see the whole oval like that. Like this one here, that's a eyeball here and the little eyeball there. That's that little angle. There's this little top of his bridge of his nose, his mouth, a little cheek there. Really simple. 
And please note, once again, this is just a very simple sketch, typical like my step one, very rough out there. Little fins on the top. Okay, what color do you see your little fish? Uh, does he have uh, patterns on it like uh, stripes or um, po uh, like little dots? Here's the rock, as you can see. I'm just working that out. See how easy that really was when I had him just leaning? And now I just added the rock straight underneath that and it just really fits nice and smoothly. On the side here, I'm just going to quickly just put like little um, seaweed grass on the side there. Really simple. Change it up if you want different types of coral. You know, more seaweed grass over here. It's just something that's nice. I like the seaweed grass uh, or I uh, like different types of um, uh, rocks and shells that you can have there. You can even have like a little baby crab on the bottom if you want to. But I'm just going to be sticking with the background as little fish leaning on the, on the little stone here. So as we get closer and closer to the, the next step, as you can see, I'm going to be going a little harder with my strokes and everything to make it uh, a little bit more in detail, but still very sketchy, as you can see. It's a little bit darker now when I'm pressing down with a pencil, well, aka mechanical pencil. Why do I like the mechanical pencil again? Because it's always a sharp lead. And if I run out, I can just push a little button there and add more lead right to it makes it easier. When you're working with traditional pencil, there's a pro with that as well too. When shading, a lot better than with mechanical pencils. So each tool has its pros and cons. There we go with the eye over here and a little bit round over there. So what, what colors do you envision the little character here, this little fish? And you can have a gradation in there too. Think of it from top to bottom too. As you can see, there you go, that half moon. That gives you that, that rotation of the head when you do that with the eyeball, so they're not identical. All right, that little mouth, the little lip there, and the body. As you can see, I rotate my paper, make it easier for uh, my hand to sketch everything out. And here's the body in the back, that little twist there with his back of his body there. Fin it all the way up there. So always, like I always say at times, when you're checking out to doing the characters like fish, you may want to actually get reference online or if you have a book and actually see how fish are uh, designed, meaning uh, the types of fins and the shape of their bodies. And then from there, be creative and you can create your own uh, fish. That's using your imagination, which is a great thing. Here is the top of the little fin there, the little secondary one there, like kind of like parting of a hair. I like to treat the fin as if it was like hair on people. And there's a little rock. I'm just shading in a little side there, and a little bit one here, shading on that side as well. And just give me a little cast shadow underneath the, the little guy on the rock right now. All right, there, there. It's very simple. This is just a... Uh, a representation of if I like it, then I can take it to the next step, clean it up even more, and then I can take it, ink it, and color it in if I do it traditionally or if I'm doing digitally on the computer. Once again, I always prefer doing something traditionally. First sketch thumbnails before doing anything to kind of flush out your ideas. I had this look, this one, this little lesson has been uh, flushed out pr uh, prior to doing this lesson. I had little thumbnails. I said, what am I going to be working on? Sometimes I just come out and I just draw randomly. You don't always need it, but the thumbnails do help. Just a little technique. Like right now with the backgrounds here, they weren't flushed out this way. It was just a character on the rock. So I'm just creating it as I go right now. I'm like, what do I see there? What type of coral or what type of uh, seaweed right now? How is it going to be shaped and angle? This is all just random right now. Uh, I haven't figured that out. Like down here, let's put some coral right here, right now on the side there, showing the different angles and shapes and that's looking good. I like that. Make these a little smaller than I normally do because the fish is a little bit larger on the other lessons that you might see me doing that type of coral where that coral's pretty large. All right, shading in the tail there. That's looking good. Yeah, let's add some bubbles, of course, since he's underwater randomly over there i like that you know little, let's put little spots little pattern texture should i say on these rocks and there it goes that's looking good i'm liking that a little bit of a rock over here to hold those uh seaweed in place as always this is about the time to sign date and share with your family and friends
Now, wasn't that a cute little cartoon fish leaning on the rock? What did you change? Maybe you put some more fish buddies behind there or change a whole scenery using your own style. That would be great. Whatever you did, using your imagination is a key thing and practicing, practicing, practicing. So if you like this lesson, stay tuned for the next. Hey, welcome back to the series on teaching you how to draw a cartoon. Now, for the third and final lesson, we have this cute little cartoon fish singing with our microphone. So, if you have your paper and pencil, I think we're ready to begin. All right, you fish fans, I think you're going to love this lesson I'm working on. It's one of my characters from Friendfish. Her name is Angelica, and she is going to be singing in the mic. I'm working off my mechanical pencil, as you can see, and this character pretty much I have in the head, in my head actually, because I draw her uh, quite often. Anyway, so here is the body and the basic shape. I have a three quarters coming towards you, angling a little bit down. So let's get their mouth up first here. There we go, her first lip there on the top. All right, a little smile there with it, and she's gonna have a big mouth open there. There we go, I like that, that's good. And then the lip on the bottom there. All right, you can see how simple I did that really quick. Very sketchy, because this is just a step number one. And I intentionally angling the, the, the tongue there. You might want to actually have no tongue, and can, you could actually see her tonsils. Here's her eye squinting really hard because she's singing so very, very strong. And for the eyelashes on the top, you could even have gone a little bit further and extend them up. But she has three stripes. Now here's one, and the second one's a little longer, and the third one is just about the same as the first one in the shape size. So she has a very simple body shape. All right, and then I have the two little long fins on the bottom here. All right, they're really, really like long hairs on there, kind of like a bow tie, or I actually say like a ribbon. So here is one fin. I'm just like holding it straight down and singing. And I'm going to create the mic first before I create the, um, the her fin on it. Just give some distance so I know exactly where it is. So here's the mic. And then I'm going to stretch the fin all the way from her body and out there intentionally. It's like really singing loud, loudly on there. And here we go. So I'm going to take a little time now and go a little bit slower and a little darker. So the very first one was very sketchy. Now I'm going to spend some time but it's not perfect. This is just a thumbnail, sketching it out, adding a little shadowing around that curve of the mic. As you can see, I add a curve to it so to give that indication that the mic is curved. If I went straight across, it would have thought it was flat. So I, that's why I had that rotation in there, that curve. Here's a fin here. That's really long stretch fin there. Her cheek really wide there and her mouth wide open. Okay, there we go. One over here. I like that. Her bottom lip. That little tongue, different angling all together. I'm shading inside there to give some contrast. So you can see the mouth. You can see how that just stepped on. You can just see how quickly I just uh, shaded that in. The bottom lip there. A little cheek up here. This is like where it would be cheeky. That's her eye right there, closed together. That's the top of the eyelid there. Really squinting. Her side of her face there, and this is two different colors. So she is like a lighter purple in her face and a darker purple for her body. And her eyelids right there, just gonna shade that in as well. Yep, that's looking good, I like that. And get the other one shading in, there we go. The bottom there, all right, let's just rotate the paper a little bit easier, do the curve there for her body there. There we go, and get all the way around the edges. But even though I'm still going a little heavier, I kind of have that laid down with the first one, so it's kind of easy. And I'm still able to change the shape now, even if it doesn't look good. And once again, I don't want to race because it's just a sketch. There's that, those little tiger stripes on the top there. So I'm just going to color those in really quick and shade the other one in. And you can see it, I, I consider these like speed lines to just whip them out left and right left and right and just move it down like you're mowing grass Ooh, really quick there you go and the back she has a little bump in the back there and that's where the fin actually hangs on there there we go straight edge straight edge there we go and i'm just going to put some like 
fins in there. All right, looking good. I like that the curvature down there. You could even have it even stretched up and even more over or even have the fin overlapping. You know what? I don't like how those last two fins actually. So now I'm just going to reroute them and do it a little bit different. Yeah, I like these better this way. But once again, I'm not worried about erasing those first two because they're just super light. I should create a little background and the backdrop there. You know, let's create some fun notes since she's singing. What is she singing? What type of a song is it? Whatever it is, it's something that she likes a lot. And different type of notes here and there, making them really bubbly and cartoony at that same time. Standing up there, that's looking good. All right, and we should have had some bubbles, of course, since she's singing so loudly all over the place. A little texture to the mic there. Let's get that. Let's work on a little bit about that the bottom. As you notice here, I, I skip from one area to one area. It's wherever my uh, thoughts and my imagination is leading me. Just working on a little shadowing underneath her right there. You know, uh, you know, some seaweeds up here, maybe. Yeah, really quick ones. Yep, that's looking good there. I like that. A little cut in there, randomly putting them here and there. This lesson was all random. I didn't really have anything to work off of when I was working. I was just playing up as I am right now, like, okay, the background, what else? You know, I think it's pretty good to get done. So make sure we sign date, share with your family and friends. Wasn't that a cute little cartoon fish singing with that microphone? Now, what did you do different? Did you add some other fish singing around her? Maybe change a landscape? Was it in an aquarium or even a fish tank? Using your imagination is a key thing and practicing sketching. All three of these that I actually shared with you today had a common, they're all fish. Use your imagination later now and make a big picture with a whole bunch of fish. I would love to challenge you with that. My website is jmg-studio.biz. I hope you enjoy today's lessons and have a great day. Ocean City is the place to be. If you want to see all the fish in the sea. Fritch is a joker and Mel is super fast. Jammy and Jelly and Yo-Yo are a blast. Jellica's a beauty and all the friends agree. Some of the sharks, but if you're looking for some fun, here they are. They're friend fish, friend fish. They are a fish's best friend.